wiggle, wiggle, Pride has a very specific meaning to me. I think what pride overall means to me is just acceptance of everyone and the way that they choose to live their life with their love, choices, and whatnot. People shouldn't be discriminated against for just loving another person regardless of its sex, color, religion, or orientation. I think love is just strong enough itself in order to be accepted as love. I don't necessarily think there should be any hatred towards love, and I think that's what really pride overall means to me. I think it just means acceptance and truly being comfortable with your life decision of accepting your love choices, I guess. Wow, that was beautiful. <laughs> So what does pride mean to me? Acceptance incarnate. That's what it is. It's, it's, it's people getting over the fact that people are different yeah. and loving each other regardless and appreciating that, appreciating their differences. And it doesn't matter if you're straight, if you're gay, whatever race you are. If, you're, if you want to be happy and live, especially in the greatest city on earth, you need to learn to just appreciate people and be happy. If you had any advice for someone who's still in the closet, what would you tell them? The best advice I've ever gotten was surround yourself with people that are smarter and nicer than you. I think if you do that, and if you're closeted, not necessarily that they're nicer or smarter than you, but if you surround yourself with people that accept themselves more than you can at the time, you will be able to find yourself and give you more of a crutch to be able to find yourself and you'll be happier right. after that. Yeah. Awesome, thank you so much. I'm a lesbian, full blown golden star oh, wow. lesbian for life. She got the championship belt. Okay. Yes, I do. It, it takes pride. What does pride mean to you? Pride means everything to me. Pride is my entire life. I've had to fight for my pride, for my own self-respect, for other people to respect me. So to be out in pride and be around other like-minded people with like-minded love is everything to me. I love seeing everybody walk around no matter what. It's beautiful. I live for it every day. This is what we fought for. That's amazing. Do you have any advice that you would give to your younger self who maybe like didn't come out? Like, What advice would you give your younger self who was in the closet? I would say do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just come out, be yourself, love yourself, and everybody else will fall behind. As long as you love yourself, there's nothing that anyone can do to you that you're not prepared for. I love myself, I've always loved myself. I've had to come out, I, I had people hate me. I thought my mom hated me for a long time. She loves me, it got better, it'll always be better. It's perfect. That's beautiful. I'm Robert. And what's your sexual orientation, if you don't mind? I'm gay. What does pride mean to you? Honestly, pride for me means to really be your authentic self, whether that's being poly, straight, monogamous, or even queer. Like, I feel like it's just really like a personal experience. This is a celebration of that individuality and that acceptance of an individuality and that acceptance of difference. And you know, that's why people here in New York are celebrating. It's cause yeah. like, we have this nice poster board, but inside it really means more than that. Yeah. I mean, it's only been like, what, four years since the marriage equality lasts. Yeah. So 
it hasn't been that long and we need to keep pushing and fighting for our rights and also protecting black trans youth. I have one more question. Yes. Um, as an Asian American, yes. uh, being gay in America, uh -huh. like how has that experience been for you? Being Asian American means that finding your own truth, but at the same time finding that medium and that balance with your family. Like I understand that your family is not always supportive of this quote lifestyle. Truly at the end of the day, like Asian parents really love you. It means a lot to them when you truly have found yourself and that their story of immigration has led to your access to happiness. I feel like that is more important than their conservative values. Yeah, so being Asian and queer is amazing. Um, awesome. I love being Asian and queer, and I hope that other Asians are really proud of being Asian um, and don't hate themselves and, you know, really just be the true author itself, you know? Yeah. yeah. If you had one advice for an Asian person who is in the closet, what would that be? Being in a closet is totally fine, you know? I feel like in Western culture, visibility is power, but you know, in Asian culture is different because you really value the community and you value your family's happiness. Really calculate what is important to you and your loved ones, then I totally respect that. And I feel like that respect for other people's individual experiences outweighs that pressure to come out. That is what being Asian American about is, you know, like really navigating both that individualism and that collectivism that is very associated with Asian culture. That's dope. Thank yes. you so much. Kijan. Kijan, what's your name? Karel. What's your name? Ronnie. Ronnie. Okay. Um. So, what does pride mean to you guys? You want to start? Sure. Okay. Pride means being able to express yourself no matter what. Like anybody could go. It's just like having that inner confidence and making yourself express, like making yourself bloom like a flower, making yourself be able to grow and see what you want in yourself in your life and not care what anybody got to say. Yeah. Period. Love it. Beautiful. What's part mean to you? Not about being scared and being yourself. Okay. And not like letting other people judge you and be free for one day. Okay. Yes. Love it. I think pride means that little voice that you're scared of reaching out and speaking for itself and making sure that you know what, this is who I am and this is who I'm yes. going to be and you're going to respect me. Love it, I love yeah. it. And as a black gay man in America, like how has that experience been for you? Has it been difficult? Because I know in the black community, sometimes it could be very like discriminatory against yeah. Yeah. black people. Like how has that experience been for you growing up? Um, growing up, it was like really hard because a lot of people used to like judge me and I used to be scared to literally like be myself. But once I got to like high school, it was different. It was just like, I didn't care. And I noticed that when you don't care about what people have to say, it's easier for you to be yourself and be who you want to be. Wow, thank you. Cool. What about you? The same. The same. Like, I used to be bullied and stuff. So I just be myself because I don't really care what people think. Like, I know I could take it to any time of the day. Yeah. <laughs> What about you? Like, what would you say to someone who is in the closet and is really like on the fence about coming out? What I would say is take your time and, you know, coming out. Don't rush it. Don't let other people tell you when it's your time to come out. Make sure that that moment you feel is right. You speak your voice and let people hear what you have to say and then be you. Wow. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. <laughs> What is your guys' names? I'm Splash. Splash, okay. I'm Papito. Papito, okay, cool. Blunta. Blunta, okay. Nelly. Alright, cool. So, what does pride mean to you guys? Pride is being able to be yourself without worries or being identified and looked at as anything negative. What about you? Pride is basically, it's courage. It's like being, it's like showing everybody who you are, being yourself. Legit what they just said. It's, okay. it's, it's about being you and knowing who you are as a person and being okay with yourself. Awesome. And to me, pride is about happiness. It's about happiness? I yes. love that. That's beautiful. And one more question. Like, how have you guys um, in the black community 
like as a couple, how has that experience been for you guys? Like, do you feel like it's been very open? Has it been very negative? Are people, like, how, how has that been? Well, I feel like each person's story is different. Mm -hmm. Mine, personally, mine was hard at first, but over time, like, I'm really supported and loved by my family and the people around me. That's so. beautiful. I mean, it's open, like, you know, some men don't accept it. They try to, you know, be like, oh, we're your girlfriend now. I'll take your girlfriend too. Like, no, it's okay. I'm fine. <laughs> we good. We good with what we like. We all with what we do, you know? So, okay. It's fine with me. I don't, I'm good. Nobody disrespect me. I'm good. <laughs> you? I would say with me, it's like, it's very open in my family. Like, we're cool with it because it's a few of us, gay boys, gay girls. It's just, everybody's just open to it but it's like when we're me and her are out it's like some people will try and be like oh is that your girlfriend or something like that but it's like we don't let that You're stronger than the hate. exactly like especially with dumb people they're like oh you got a girlfriend oh could i be a part stuff like that so it's like a okay about you it's been open only because i have i have people that are in the lgbt community in my family so it's been accepted from day one awesome. yeah Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Hello, guys. This is my friend Ayana. Could you tell us your sexuality if you don't mind? I am bisexual. She is bisexual. I am too. Oh, ladies out there? Yes. Hit, me up. <laughs> hit her up. Hit us up. We're single. <laughs> um, what's it called? So, Ayana. We are waiting for the bus, and I want to know, what does Pride mean to you? For a while, Pride was just like a thing very far away that was just like, oh my god, that looks like fun, like, it's just like a cool thing where there's always love. And as I've gone every year to Pride, and as I've gotten older, I've realized that it's more about just a community. Like, it, I know it is a community, but also like, you're in it, and you feel it, like, wherever you go, no matter where you are. And it just feels like an overwhelming amount of love and positivity even if there are like negative signs here and there like it still feels good and pride to me means a place of acceptance and a place that makes me feel like i can be who i want i can love myself as as me and not be judged by anybody at all that was beautiful if you could give a piece of advice to someone who is currently disliking themselves or hating themselves because they may be LGBT, what advice would you give to that person who's in the closet and doesn't feel okay with coming out? This is tough because I've never been in that position, so it's hard to give advice from the outside view. Honestly, I would just say try your best to love yourself as you are first. Not even thinking about everybody's opinion and how like they see you, the way you walk or the way you talk. Just being you and loving you as you are and then slowly coming out to one friend or not even a stranger if that makes you feel any better so that you know that they can't judge you at all and build up from there. But it doesn't have to be under any, it doesn't have to be on a timeline. It's all on your own time. Whenever you feel like you can be accepted and whenever you feel like you can accept yourself and then allow other people to accept you. Amazing, thank you. Hey, hi everyone, this is my friend Lino. Lino is a straight man and this was his first pride. Let's walk this way. <laughs> walk and talk. Oh. <laughs> Just waiting for the bus, casual, casual walking and talking. So no Lino, how was your first pride? How was it? My first pride, it was a weird experience, you know. I didn't expect to see half of the stuff that I saw and it was definitely <laughs> like there were just and other stuff flying around everywhere. How would you describe the vibe? <laughs> Super supportive. Great. Honestly, everyone was just there to have a good time and really enjoy themselves to the best of their ability. And I really felt it. It was awesome. Did you have a good first pride? I would honestly say I had a great first pride. Man. It was all in good fun, you know what I'm saying? And I get to go home with good people. <laughs> got this far in the video that means you watched it so thanks so all day i've been asking different random people about what pride means to them and i realized at the end of this that i didn't really think about what pride meant to me so i kind of want to like ask myself that question and sort of just give my thoughts on it what 
does pride mean to me? I think pride is love. Pride is being the most authentic version of yourself. Like not feeling like you need a mask, not feeling like you need to act straight, not feeling like you have to lessen your glow to make other people comfortable or whisper so you don't bother other people in a sense. I think pride is one of the most beautiful days that I've been able to experience in my own life and I'm so grateful for it. I'm so I'm so grateful because I know so many people died and so many people got beaten and so many people you know were denied basic human rights just so I could be in this position to be filming and talking to you guys today and I don't even know the people who sacrificed their lives and really did everything so that way the future would be brighter for LGBT people, LGBTQ people. I think pride is about gratitude. It's about acknowledging that so many people have sacrificed for us to be in the positions that we are. Being grateful for where we are at this moment and being in America and being able to be out and gay in certain areas and just knowing that we can still fight for our future and to, and to just want even more and keep pushing for for more equality for trans people for non-binary people for all different types of people and I just I think the future is bright and I think the youth is gonna change it and I think we're all individually connected and collectively can make a difference if we each decide to make a difference so like today I had this moment where I looked up to the sky and a bunch of tiny little rainbow confetti pieces came raining down on us and I'm walking in the parade and this beautiful song is on and the sun is shining and I'm surrounded by people I love and who love me and I was just so grateful to be alive and I know like a lot of people kill themselves because they're gay or because they're trans or get killed because they're gay or because they're trans or because they're lesbian i don't know it just made me really thankful that like i'm okay enough to to be myself and, I, and my family's so supportive of me and i know not everyone has that so today was like honestly like <laughs> top five one of the best days of my life so i had a really good time i i love pride and if i could tell one thing to my younger self who was so scared in the closet i think it would be to to come as you are you don't have to be anyone different you don't have to put on a mask you don't have to change your pronouns you don't have to fit into the status quo just come as you are be yourself be true to you and just listen to that intuition and just go from there i hope that this video helps someone who is in the closet someone who maybe really wanted to go to pride but felt like they couldn't you know someone who is struggling with their identity whether it's gender or sexual i hope this helped someone i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it was meaningful it was really beautiful connecting with all of these different people who i've never met before and just you know them opening up and saying these like beautiful things and words and it, it was just a great experience and I don't know why I was so shy to do it in the beginning, so definitely more vlogs coming soon. So if you're interested in them, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to go to bed now. I had an amazing but tiring day. There's lots of work to be done still, but we sometimes we have to just stop and smell the roses. So I don't know. I just feel really blessed. I feel really blessed today. Right? Peace.